Yeah. Well, I think before the last couple of years, it, it was the Nokia kind of uh, passivated um, probably most of the city and these to think about startups or to have any kind of uh, a kind of bigger effort to support them. And you could really see in every place in Oulu that Nokia was kind of de facto. So all the students went to Nokia, wanted to go to Nokia and they all had jobs so they didn't think about startups and and of course because everyone was working they didn't think about startups when they got older because they they just worked and got promoted so that in a couple of years that has already also changed uh, with or without us it would have changed anyway due to due to Nokia of course the concentration is that there's a lot of uh, telecoms knowledge here as, as a percentage of the population, should I say. Uh, there's a lot of hardware uh, focus and hardware excellence here, again, thanks to Nokia and Nokia's ecosystem. Uh, well, I think first is that it gave a lot of people experience that they wouldn't have in, in a local company, that they could see around the world, they could go and, and meet people and uh, engineer products that sold millions or even hundreds of millions of units. So that's one, this kind of, we have the self-esteem is really high in, in all engineers. And that, that is a good and bad thing, of course, because startup engineer, entrepreneurs need to be very humble in certain things, but you still have to have that kind of uh, experience. And, and when you go to meet a bigger client that we can do this. Well, Nokia did a huge favor. They, they they unleashed uh, a lot of good, uh, good engineers that have been concentrating on, on building really global successes in, in past past 20 years. They even gave the guys a lot of lot of money to run with. So so these Nokia grants that, that that was was helping for sure establishing new companies. And as a result, there has been something like 100 new companies in in Oulu in past what. A uh, couple of years out of the bridge program alone. I think the Oulu startup scene is. I think it's the first. The first wave has kind of um, been now that it's it's the highlight of the first wave. I would say uh, because the, most of the people from Nokia has left. They have founded company. They are currently funded the first round. So there's a lot of people in the startup community at the moment. And after this, it has to be more organic. So you could probably see a wave of it getting down a little bit or kind of more quiet. And then the next wave will be more organic, more people that actually want to be entrepreneurs and not just have a situation where they have to kind of start thinking other possibilities. So. So I don't think for size of Oulu we cannot get that much bigger. I think it's more that now we have enough experience or we will have more experienced people after the first wave that will kind of be the basis for the next wave.